I'm going to show you how you can use group policy to set custom desktop backgrounds. So to start, I'm logged on to my domain controller and I have the desktop background, which I want to deploy. So the first thing we need to do is create a shared folder, which all of the users have access to. So to do that, I'm just going to browse to my local Active Directory domain, go to the sysfile folder, the domain, then scripts, and create a new folder in here called backgrounds. Within the backgrounds folder, I'm just going to put the file which I want to deploy. Once I've done that, I can open group policy and create a new group policy object. I will call it desktop backgrounds. Once I've created the group policy, I can right click and go to edit. And the first thing we want to set up is copying this file from the shared folder and pasting it locally on the client's machines. So to do that, we can go to user configuration, policies, windows settings, and then files, then right click new file. In the properties, we can change this from update to replace and then paste in the location of our file and then add the file name at the end, which is desktop background.jpg. And then for the destination of the file, we want to copy it anywhere locally. What I normally do is copy it to where Windows stores the default backgrounds, which is C, Windows, Web. So we will copy this location, paste it in here, and then just add a custom folder called custom, and then the file name, which is desktop background.jpg. I can then copy this destination file, press apply, and then OK. So we can see we've got the object to copy it from the source location and then paste it into the target location. Now we need to set the policy to actually set the desktop background, which is under user configuration, policies, administrative templates, desktop, and then desktop, and then right click and edit desktop wallpaper, then set enabled, and then paste in the path of the local wallpaper from the previous object. Then change the wallpaper style to fill, and then we can apply and OK. That's all we need to do in this group policy for the moment. So we can close this. And then what we need to do is create a WMI filter. So if we go to WMI filters, right click and go to new. And we'll give this a name of all workstations. And then description of WMI filter for all work stations. Then we can do add, and then we can paste in the following query, which is select star from win32 underscore operating system, where product type is equal to one. So this product type equal to one means that the one is all desktop operating systems. Number two is all domain controllers. And number three would be all servers, which are not domain controllers. So we just want to apply this to all workstations. So we'll leave it as product type is equal to one. So we can do okay. And then save. You can check the description for this exact query. So save. Then now what we need to do is apply this WMI filter to this desktop backgrounds group policy object. So to do that, if we go back to the object and at the bottom, we can do WMI filtering and then select all workstations. And we can do yes. So now this will filter it against all of the devices that match this policy. So the last thing we need to do is get the desktop backgrounds, drag it, over our domain and then link it to the domain. So now we can see it's here.
it's linked and it's applied. So now all we need to do is go to our PC. We can log out. And then when we log back in, in theory, it should set our desktop background. And there we go. It's set our desktop background to the custom one. So what that's done is if we go to C, Windows, Web, it's copied the custom background from the file share into this custom folder and into the desktop background. Now, if you want to update the background that's deployed to the PCs, all you need to do is go back to the file share. And then instead of having this one set as the desktop background file name, we can just add old to that just to change it. And then give something else the name desktop background. So in this case, it's a water zone so swimming. So now that's got the desktop background name. All we need to do is go back to our PC, sign out. And then when we sign back in, it will pull down that new picture and apply that as the desktop background. And there we go. It's got our new desktop backgrounds all deployed using group policy. And that is the basics for getting desktop backgrounds deployed using group policy and how you can very easily change them.